Morning, so late some fog east of the city. Storms well to the east of the city. Uh, high pressure today and tomorrow. Next system already uh, causing some major problems in through parts of the upper Great Lakes down into uh, Texas and Louisiana, where we're seeing some active early storms. Warm but less humid today, 81 today, and nice for Long Island. Nice up into the lower Hudson Valley. Just a pretty day today after that warm and steamy and sticky Tuesday and a cloudy Wednesday. The payoff is today. Rest of your seven-day details coming up in just a bit. Today also is World No Tobacco Day. Uh -huh. If you're trying to keep the habit, uh, help. Uh, hopefully you'll succeed in that. And uh, let's uh, talk about tobacco. Get it out of the kids. Absolutely. Uh, thanks, John. Let's talk about traffic now, see if there is any on the roads this morning, Alex. Well, the smooth rides, if you're traveling, you can throw those hands up, especially if you're on the Tappan Zee Bridge. Really pretty shot here we wanted to show you. Traffic is flowing freely in both directions. That continues into both Westchester and Broccoli counties for you this morning. Commuters head towards the Major Deacon at the Cross Bronx also have a very nice ride ahead of them. Into Manhattan, the West Side Highway at 96. Smooth sailing, get your drive back clear for you. To the Holland Tunnel, no delays here or really on any of the Hudson River crossings. Checking on transit, everything is still on or close to schedule. This is Metro North Path Train, New Jersey Transit, and LA to Villar, alternate size, and effect citywide. All right, Alex, thanks so much. Coming up on 610. The test before the prom. Local students forced to submit to a breathalyzer before they can party. But will the plan keep them safe? Plus, Q R S Z three quattro. One kid comes up with an interesting answer at the spelling bee, and she's already made history as the youngest to compete. So how did this six-year-old do? And we're busy in the kitchen this morning making pork chops with Brit's celebrity chef Madison Cowan shows us how it's.